Today on TQA Weekly, a first look at the brand new Ubuntu 13.04, codenamed Roaring Ringtail. This is TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Zidaxis, and if ever you have any technology questions, comments, suggestions, and or computer horror stories, you can always email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Head over to my website and use the contact form at tqaweekly.com or use the message box or comments box on this page if you're watching on a website. I'll get to all of those message boxes, comments, questions, and everything when I get to them, when I see them, and I will reply to them personally or in a general video if a lot of you have the same question. Of course, today's topic is about Ubuntu 13.04, codenamed Roaring Ringtail. And this is going to be a visual preview, not me talking about it, me showing you about it. So for the show notes before I get into it, you're going to have to go to tqaweekly.com slash se3ep32 and now watch the preview. Conical has done it once more and a new version of Ubuntu has been brought forth and today I shall be taking a first look for you. This new version of Ubuntu is version number 13.04 and codenamed Roaring Ringtail. This new version has snapping to the sides of either screen and combined with their new animation is actually a lot better. Also, it allows you to work on one screen as opposed to working on two screens. So you do save money there and on laptops, it's just not feasible to connect remotely a second screen. For those who like previewing products while they're doing online searches, you can type in any word like the word today, click on any product. This is as long as you have that option open and with the new animation, it drags your eyes to that part of the screen, maybe potentially allowing you to buy products that would benefit Ubuntu and continue bringing us other products. Similar to this, of course, there is also the brand new shutdown dialog. So that gear in the right top right corner, click on the shutdown and you got two big massive icons for restart and shutdown which I personally actually like the fact you're using bigger icons since this operating system boasts being very good for those who are visually impaired, although it does not allow for visually impaired to install this in any way that's easy up to date. So maybe in the future we may see that. Many of us have online accounts. So as usual, click in the same gear, go under system settings since we're gonna spend a about a minute here. So for those who have online accounts like me, click on the online accounts tab. You can add your various accounts online. You can turn them on and off like you were before, but here's the cool part. Now you can just turn them off for any application you don't want them using whatsoever. So if there's an application you don't want to have access to one of your online accounts, that you can now do without completely disabling your online accounts like you had to before. And while we're in this same place, your privacy is important and they've made it easier. Now, I would have preferred not to have this on by default having the recording activity, but you can turn it off. So you can just turn off recording of activity. You can also turn off searching in the dash for online results since it's not completely secure. The images are not actually encrypted, just the results. So if anybody can see the pictures, they would know what you were more likely looking for. So you can turn that off. You can also forget about activities. So past hour, past day, past week, keep all of them, delete the history. You can make sure that various files don't set off a recording activity when this thing is on. Even specific applications themselves are not prone to being recorded if you add them to this specific place. Now, like I said, this is on by default. I would have preferred not to see it on, especially for those that are more privacy conscious. Now, the last thing I wanna get into this very short first look is this cloud icon right here in the top right. It's the new Ubuntu One 
cloud storage menu. Makes it very easy to get to. So you can actually open it up, open the folder, share a file, you can toggle it on and off if you want, get more space, anything. But having it right there for your use actually makes it a lot easier and more likely for you to actually use. That was just several of the brand new features of Ubuntu 13.04, but those that I believe that are more, how do we say, important to the common user. Next week, I'll be showing you how to take a portion of your hard drive, make it look like it's not partitioned, and create a hidden partition that is encrypted using TrueCrypt in a fashion that makes it virtually invisible to anybody that's just looking for what you have on your hard drives. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Stay safe and online. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.